Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this video, we will show you immobilization method using yeast. Let's know what is immobilization. Immobilization is to restrict or fix the movement or you can say mobility of enzyme or cells. Or in the other words, you can say immobilization is the imprisonment of cell or enzyme in a distinct support or matrix. There are different methods of immobilization that is adsorption, covalent bonding, encapsulation, copolymerization, gel entrapment method. So these are all the common methods for immobilization. Here in this video, we will perform the immobilization of yeast cell by gel entrapment method. This video is also available in Hindi explanation. Link is given in the description box. First of all, weigh all the ingredients. Our first ingredient is sodium alginate. Weigh about 0.4 gram of sodium alginate. After weighing 0.4 gram of sodium alginate, keep it aside and then weigh yeast. Weigh about 2 gram of yeast. Here, our yeast which we have purchased from the market is in the granule form. So, we have crushed it into the motor pistol before weighing. After weighing yeast, keep it aside and then weigh calcium chloride. Here we are weighing calcium chloride 1.4 gram. After weighing all the ingredients, let's start the experiment. First of all, add sodium alginate which we have weighed 0.4 gram in 10 ml of distilled water in a beaker. And with the help of glass rod, dissolve the sodium alginate in water. Now, this sodium alginate solution is ready. And then in the another beaker, add yeast into it, which we have weighed 2 gram. And then add 10 ml of distilled water, which we have measured in the measuring cylinder. Generally, to dissolve the yeast, we use lukewarm water to completely dissolve yeast into it. After dissolving yeast in distilled water, here you can see that our yeast solution is ready. After preparing the solution of sodium alginate and yeast separately, then we have to prepare the solution of calcium chloride. Transfer the calcium chloride which we have weighed 2 gram into a beaker and then add 20 ml of distilled water into the beaker and with the help of glass rod, stir to dissolve the calcium chloride into water in a beaker. After preparing calcium chloride solution, then next step, mix the yeast which we have prepared and sodium alginate solution. Hence, add yeast suspension in the sodium alginate solution in a beaker, then mix it properly with the help of glass rod and after this, transfer the prepared calcium chloride solution in petri dish or you can also use small beaker. And then after this, take the suspension of yeast cell in sodium alginate means the mixture of sodium alginate and yeast solution in a plastic syringe and then attach needle to the syringe and then transfer the mixture drop by drop through the syringe in the petri dish containing calcium chloride about 2 cm above the petri dish as you can see here as the drop falls in the calcium chloride solution the beads of immobilized cell starts to form here there is entrapment of the yeast cell in calcium alginate bead or you can say calcium alginate gel that's why this method is called gel entrapment method here you can clearly observe the bead of immobilized yeast cell in white background and then observe the same in the red background here you can clearly see that how this spherical bead formation takes place when the drop of mixture of sodium alginate and yeast falls into the calcium chloride solution in petri dish. And here inside the matrix of this calcium alginate, the yeast is immobilized. And this is called immobilized cell. The principle of this experiment is that the alginate which is commercially available as alginic acid sodium salt commonly called as sodium alginate and in the presence of monovalent cation that is Na plus this polysaccharide alginate forms viscous solution even at higher concentration means sodium alginate is freely soluble in distilled water or deionized water at room temperature means 25 degrees celsius whereas in the presence of divalent cation for example calcium ion ca2 plus gelation occur means formation of gel occur means here the calcium ion of the calcium chloride solution exchange with the sodium ion of sodium alginate 
means the polymer molecule that is alginate cross linked by calcium ion and the calcium alginate bead formation takes place or you can see calcium alginate gel formation takes place and there is entrapment of yeast cell in this calcium alginate gel or you can say calcium alginate bead because the calcium alginate gel formation or you can say calcium alginate bead formation takes place under extremely mild condition therefore entrapment in the alginate matrix is very suitable for the immobilization of enzymes drug cell protein and increasing the concentration of alginate solution result in more tightly cross linkage gel formation left this bead in calcium chloride solution for at least 20 minutes or prefer to stay about 1 hour to allow deletion of the bead to occur and then after this collect the beads for this take a sieve and then pour the beads which is present in the calcium chloride solution over the sieve and spread with the help of spatula and then transfer the beads on the filter paper to dry filter paper will soak the extra water over the beads and this is how we immobilize the yeast cell in calcium alginate bead by the gel entrapment method. Thank you very much for watching this video.